the cost of ignorance, how I could have been a millionaire at 30. I made some costly mistakes when it came to money. I wasn't financially literate, and I didn't understand the long-term consequences of my actions. As a result, I found myself in debt and struggling to make ends meet. Looking back, I realized that if I had known then what I know now, I could have been a millionaire by the time I turned 30. That's right, millionaire. It sounds crazy, but it's true. The cost of my ignorance was enormous, and it's a mistake I don't want others to make. So in this video, I want to share my personal experience with you, and provide some tips that could help you avoid the same mistakes I made. Whether you're just starting out in your career or you've been working for years, understanding personal finance is crucial if you want to build wealth and achieve financial security. So if you're ready to learn from my mistakes and start building your own path to financial success, let's get started. When it comes to personal finance, ignorance can be extremely costly. Like many people, I didn't receive any formal financial education in school, and I had to learn the hard way. I made some mistakes that ended up costing me a lot of money in the long run. Here are a few examples of how financial ignorance can be expensive. First, not understanding interest rates can be a major financial mistake. When I was younger, I took out a credit card without really understanding how the interest worked. I made only the minimum payments, and soon my balance grew and grew. By the time I finally paid off the card, I had paid thousands of dollars in interest fees. If I had understood the basics of interest rates, I could have avoided this mistake and saved myself a lot of money. Second, not having a budget can also be very costly. I used to think that budgeting was for people who didn't have enough money. But the truth is, having a budget is important no matter how much money you make. Without a budget, it's easy to overspend and not realize where your money is going. This was another mistake I made, and it led to a lot of financial stress and anxiety. Finally, not understanding the power of compound interest can be a costly mistake. When I was younger, I didn't think about long-term investing. I thought that if I just saved a little bit of money each month, I would be fine. But what I didn't realize was that the earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to grow. If I had started investing in my 20s, even just a small amount each month, I could have taken advantage of the power of compound interest and built up a significant nest egg by the time I reached my 30s. These are just a few examples of how financial ignorance can be costly. The truth is, there are many more ways that not understanding personal finance can impact your life. But the good news is, it's never too late to start learning. By watching this video and taking steps to improve your financial literacy, you can avoid these mistakes and start building a brighter financial future for yourself. My journey to financial literacy wasn't easy, but it was worth it. When I was in my early 20s, I made some costly mistakes with money. I didn't understand the basics of personal finance, and it showed. I was in debt, living paycheck to paycheck, and feeling stuck. But then, something changed. I realized that I couldn't continue living this way. I wanted to be in control of my finances, not the other way around. So, I made a decision I was going to learn everything I could about personal finance and take control of my financial future. I started by reading books, watching videos, and listening to podcasts. I was hungry for knowledge, and I absorbed everything I could. I learned about budgeting, saving, investing, and more. And the more I learned, the more excited I became. As I gained more knowledge and confidence, I started taking action. I created a budget and stuck to it. I started saving money each month, even if it was just a little bit and I started investing in stocks and mutual funds, 
taking advantage of the power of compound interest. It wasn't always easy. There were times when I wanted to give up, times when I felt like I wasn't making progress. But I kept pushing forward, knowing that the payoff would be worth it. And it was. Today, I'm proud to say that I'm debt-free, have a healthy emergency fund, and am on track to achieve my long-term financial goals. I know that I have the knowledge and skills to handle any financial challenge that comes my way. But the best part? The feeling of freedom and control that comes with being financially literate. Knowing that I can make smart decisions with my money, and that I'm not at the mercy of my finances, is truly empowering. So if you're feeling stuck, overwhelmed, or unsure about your finances, know that it's never too late to start learning. Take it from me, the journey to financial literacy is worth it, and it can change your life. Now that you understand the cost of financial ignorance and the importance of financial literacy, let's talk about some tips for building wealth. These tips are based on my own personal experience and the advice of financial experts. 1. Start by creating a budget. This may seem like a basic step, but it's crucial. A budget will help you understand where your money is going, and make sure that you're living within your means. Make sure to include all of your expenses, including savings and investments. 2. Prioritize debt repayment. If you have debt, especially high-interest debt like credit card debt, make it a priority to pay it off as quickly as possible. High-interest debt can be a major drain on your finances and can prevent you from building wealth. 3. Save aggressively. Once you've paid off your debt, make sure to save aggressively. This means setting aside a significant portion of your income each month for savings and investments. Aim to save at least 20% of your income, and more if you can. 4. Invest in the stock market. The stock market has historically provided some of the best long-term returns for investors. If you're new to investing, start by investing in low-cost index funds or mutual funds. And remember, don't try to time the market. Instead, focus on investing consistently over the long term. 5. Invest in yourself. One of the best investments you can make is in yourself. This means investing in your education, your skills, and your health. By improving yourself, you'll increase your earning potential and be better equipped to handle any financial challenge that comes your way. 6. Stay focused on your goals. Building wealth is a long-term process, and it's easy to get discouraged along the way. But by staying focused on your goals and reminding yourself why you're doing this, you'll be able to stay motivated and make progress. Congratulations! You've made it to the end of this video, and hopefully you're feeling inspired and motivated to take control of your finances. Remember, financial literacy is a journey, not a destination. It's something that you'll be working on for the rest of your life. But the good news is that every step you take towards financial literacy is a step in the right direction. By understanding the cost of financial ignorance, committing to financial literacy, and following the tips for building wealth, you can achieve the financial security and freedom that you deserve. So take action today. Create a budget, pay off your debt, start saving and investing, and invest in yourself. And most importantly, never stop learning. Together, we can break the cycle of financial ignorance and create a brighter future for ourselves and our families. Now that you've learned about the cost of financial ignorance and the importance of financial literacy, it's time to take action. Here are some steps you can take today to start building your financial literacy. 1. Educate yourself. Read books, articles and blogs about personal finance and investing. Watch videos and attend seminars. The more you know, the better equipped you'll be to make smart financial decisions. 
2. Create a budget. If you haven't already, create a budget to help you understand where your money is going and make sure you're living within your means. 3. Pay off your debt. If you have high interest debt, make it a priority to pay it off as quickly as possible. This will free up more money for saving and investing. 4. Start saving and investing. Set aside a portion of your income each month for savings and investments. Consider investing in low-cost index funds or mutual funds. 5. Invest in yourself. Invest in your education, skills, and health to increase your earning potential and improve your financial security. 6. Share your knowledge. Spread the word about the importance of financial literacy to your friends and family. Encourage them to take control of their finances as well. Remember, building financial literacy is a process, but the sooner you start, the better off you'll be. By taking action today, you can start building the financial security and freedom that you deserve. This video that was authored by OpenAI's ChatGPT With the company taking on billions of dollars in investments, this is the perfect time to find out ways for this innovative tool to help you learn about personal finance. Audio for this video was provided by NaturalSoft Limited's Natural Reader AI software using their commercial license. Per their website, this license allows you to use its software and voices for commercial or public use. This includes, but is not limited, to YouTube videos, public announcements, broadcasts, and e-learning.